And now we have Adolf. K Fabe asks, who would win in a fight, Oz, Vinny Vegas, or Master Blaster Steel? Master Blaster Steel was gassed to the fucking gills. The other two guys were <laughs> the other two guys were clean little bitches. My Master Blaster was a motherfucker. I actually fucking showed up at the Cheetah. This is a good story. So I, so, so Bill Haygood owned the Cheetah for fucking forever. And I was like, he asked me to help help him move one time. And um so I I showed up and I moved I helped him move with with two other he had his two sons. So I, I helped him move. And at the end of the day he he went to peel off a couple of hundred, like maybe five hundred bucks. And I just looked at him and I said, You asked me to help you move, man. You didn't fucking say you're paying me. I said, you know, you give me a, you give me a fucking good job. If I can, you take care of me. I said, we're, we're, we're good, man. And that just stuck in his mind to the point where I said, fuck it, man. I'm not starting for like three weeks, uh, you know, and I was only getting like 1750 a week when I, when I broke in wrestling. And, uh, I'm thinking like, fuck, I, I could be making fucking, you know, 2,500, three grand a week. Mm back at the fucking club for these next three weeks. I'm going to take a pay cut, you know, anyway, getting in this fucking shit business. So, you know, I might as well fucking make it while I can. So I show up with that fucking mo that fuchsia mohawk at the fucking club in my tuxedo for my shift. Fucking hey, good's up in VIP. I see him walking towards me, and as he's walking towards me, I see him fucking start to fucking smile. He looks at me, he goes, only you could pull that off, Nash. I said, is it cool? He goes, Fuck yeah, ain't gonna be nobody gonna fuck around here the next couple of weeks. And I fucking sported that fucking mohawk. Excellent. You know. 